In this video, I'm going to be re-ranking the top 10 best shooting guards right now in NBA 2K23, my team, because we've gotten so many good shooting guards since the last time I did one of these videos, and I want to get you guys an updated top 10 and just show you guys who I personally think are the best shooting guards in the game. But let me know in the comment section down below what do you guys think about my top 10, and of course, let me know what you guys or let me know who are your guys' favorite shooting guards to run right now in the game and all the type of stuff in the comment section down below. But at my number 10 spot is actually going to be the Galaxy Super Ray Allen, which is crazy to say because. I still think he's a very capable shooting guard. I know he's only six foot five and does have a six foot eight wingspan. His player model really isn't the best in game, but you guys got to remember, he's still going to be super elite on the offensive end, having a 99 three ball, 98 mid range, 94 speed, 94 acceleration. Going to go into the basket as well with a 95 driving dunk. He's also got Hall of Fame bully, posterizer, and gold limitless takeoff. But we know Ray is mainly just going to be a sniper, Hall of Fame agent three, amp to blinders, catch and shoot, corner specialist, dead eye, limitless range. And then you take a look at the animations he's got his jump shot on very quick timing so he does have a really good jump shot in my opinion and they also gave him some amazing dribble sigs with the steve francis size up the kobe escape and even the dame behind the back mj dribble style he's got quick drops off one he's got front clutches so animations wise they really souped up this ray allen card and all around i think he's the 10th best shooting guard at the number nine spot might be a little bit surprising is actually the pink diamond justin jackson i think he's very underrated at the shooting guard position he's six foot eight with a six foot eleven wingspan and just all around is a very good card besides the 78 block and maybe the 80 driving dunk his stats are really nice for a pink diamond card 93 three ball 92 mid range he's super fast 94 speed 94 acceleration just like ray allen has a ton of good hall of fame shooting badges but he's six foot eight with a very good player model and then you take a look at his jump shot this for whatever reason is actually a good release i'm not sure you know how it how it's a good release because it's the tyson chandler upper the pj brown upper you think it's probably not a great jump shot but i do think it's a pretty good release he's got quick drops off one I think for the meta of the game, I think Justin Jackson is better at the two because right now all the game is about his height. And yes, Justin Jackson isn't the best offensively and he's not as good offensively as a Ray Allen, but just because of his height, his defense, his player model, his ability to slash at the basket and hit a wide open three or and, and able to knock down threes, I think he's better than Ray Allen and overall the ninth best shooting guard. But at the number eight spot, crazy to say, but Scottie Pippen is going to be the eighth best shooting guard in the game, in my opinion. It's kind of crazy how low these cards have dropped in the top 10. That just goes to show how many good shooting guards we've been getting over the past couple weeks. But yeah, Pippen, we all know, is an amazing shooting guard. I do think he's better at small forward because of his defense. And nowadays, most people like to run their lockdowns at small forward, whether it's a Bill Russell, Jonathan Isaac, Scottie Pippen, you know, those lockdown type of cards. Cards. people now like to put him at small forward because at shooting guard you got your terry dishingers you got your t-max your vince carter and some other cards we'll talk about are more of like the offensive guys where i feel like at small forward and point guard a lot of people tend to put their you know defensive cards jimmy butler sangoon ben simmons magic these are all cards that are not known for their offense but are just going to be elite elite defenders so i think scotty pippen is a little bit lower on my shooting guard list just for that reason because i do think he's actually a better small forward than he is at the shooting guard spot but at the number seven position or number seven spot is going to be the galaxy of vince i've always said this since these two cards dropped i think scotty pippen potentially could be the better all-around card just because of his ability to play small forward and he's very close to vince at the shooting guard position where pippen's a lot better of a small forward compared to vince so i do think pippen's the better overall card than vince carter but at the shooting guard position for the meta of the game and what a lot of people tend to run for their lineups is a ball handler at the two and then your lockdowns at the one and three i do think vince carter is a better shooting guard than a scotty pippen because he's really good offensively he's got a good jump shot he's got good dribble six and he can be your main scorer and your primary ball handler so i feel like for that reason he's going to be the seventh best shooting guard one of the more underrated shooting guards in the game and depending on how you look at this card is the galaxy bull eddie jones i was really debating putting him in my top five and i'm still kind of debating of putting him in my top five i think he's just barely out of the top five in my opinion he's a great shooting guard though he's six foot six with a six foot nine wingspan elite elite all-around stats besides the 79 block i mean this card stats are damn near perfect and then he's also got a really good jump shot in game surprisingly enough i mean the jared allen base isn't the best but for whatever reason this jump shot is amazing on very quick timing he's also got some elite dribble sigs he's got the trey young escape kyle larry size up mj dribble style so he can move like your primary ball handler he's got the quick drops off one he's got the front clutches i mean as a three hunting point guard or three hunting shooting guard your main ball handler i think he's one of the best 
better ones in the game but i'm at number five spot i think i had to go with billy knight just because of his all-around play i still think is better than eddie jones it's super close i mean they're both six foot ten six foot ten they're both six foot six with a six foot nine wingspan for eddie jones and a six foot ten wingspan for billy knight but very very close cards i will say all around stats wise very similar i mean maybe this slight edge goes to eddie jones jump shot i do personally like billy knight's jump shot a little bit more six wise once again very close i mean these cards are just super close i think if you want to put eddie jones over billy knight that is a fair argument to be made but in my opinion i do think billy knight is the fifth best shooting guard at the number four spot is going to be the dark matter class drexler i think another underrated shooting guard he's six foot seven with a six foot ten uh ten wingspan and the one thing that you can't tell on this card whether you're looking at the stats whether you're looking at the badges the animations this card's dunk packages i know you can see the dunk packages but for whatever reason this man just dunks the basketball at a way higher level than most cards in the game like he'll just fly over people able to literally jump from it basically seems like the free throw line I don't know it might just be me and my experience but let me know if you guys have used Clyde Drexler or maybe even played against, uh, played against him I just think all around his dunk packages his animations on the offensive end are super super glitchy going to the rim he's six foot seven so has that height defensively he can definitely lock up I mean he's got Hall of Fame anchor challenger chase on artist clamps glove and yeah, menace you know he's got some really good Hall of Fame defensive badges and he is a dark matter so he's gonna have 30 of them on Hall of Fame which is super nice to have but now to get into my top three this is where things do get a little bit interesting I think the number one and number two are very obvious but Kobe I still think is that number three guy I think he's still a very good all-around card I and mean, he's got great stats and badges I just wish he had a tiny bit better sigs and maybe a new jump shot but it's still going to be Kobe and elite's rim runner has a decent jump shot I mean he's just Kobe Bryant he's still going to be a top three shooting guard in my opinion now this is where stuff does get a it does get very very controversial I'm going Tracy McGrady at two and I'm going Terry I'm going Terry Dishinger at one I know I'm going to explain it don't worry I'm going to explain it because I know people are already going in the comment section saying that T-Max better than Terry and the first thing I want to say yes T-Mac can be arguably and for a lot of people still is the best shooting guard in the game so I'm not saying that T-Mac is a lot worse than Terry it is so neck and neck that it really comes down to preference but in my opinion this is the way that I kind of explain it to myself because I actually want to compare these cards because I know a lot of people are going to be maybe a little bit mad or you know just wondering my opinion so when it comes to player model and it comes to height and wingspan yes Tracy McGrady does have an inch wingspan and does have three or, or an inch height and three inches on the wingspan nothing too crazy in my opinion I would say it's very very similar now looking at their stats also T-Mac has a slight advantage very very similar though so i don't think you could really make too big of a difference and then the same thing for the badges i mean you know if you look at terry dishinger he's got like claymore and hoff but then t-max got guard up and green machine if you look at the defense he's got post lockdown rebound chaser but all this stuff it doesn't matter don't worry about the badges don't worry about the stats don't worry about the high and wingspan animations i mean terry dishinger does have animations for like on ball seal tendency you can test shot and block shot which does matter not a huge factor in why i think terry's better but that, that that is a little bit of a part of it of why i do think terry's better but it comes down to this page right here this screen whatever you want to call it the animation screen now you can see they both do have the kpj base terry has the carmel anthony upper and and uh, t-mac does have the oscar upper i will say I, I like T-Max jump shot a lot. I thought it was the best release in the game. This Carmelo release is so much faster. So if you can learn how to time a faster jump shot with the KPJ base, which is one of the best, if not the best base in the game, that's when I do think Terry Dishinger has the better jump shot because of the fact that it's quicker. So if you can learn to time it, it's going to be quicker, right? So in my opinion, I think Terry Dishinger has a little bit better of a jump shot. Nothing too crazy. But the biggest difference is this right here. I'm highlighting this this is all that matters forget everything i just said and just look at this do you know how big of a difference terry just uh terry dishinger um i can't speak steve francis size up and terry dishinger steve francis size up for terry dishinger and tracy mcgrady size up for t-mac do you know how big of a difference that is for the size up i know a lot of people that maybe don't understand animations are probably wondering why does that matter at all at, at all like why is that the biggest difference the Steve Francis size up is the best size up in the game. And I would say the T-Max size up maybe isn't even a top five, top 10 size up. So that is the biggest difference because if you look down the line, 
they are damn near the same. Damian Lillard behind the back, John Wall crossover, Steph Curry escape, elite motion style, MJ dribble style. I mean, they're damn near the exact same card, except for the Steve Francis size up compared to the T-Max size up. And to me, that makes the biggest difference. Terry Dishinger, I think, has got a slightly better jump shot. I think he's got that better size up animation, which is going to help him move a lot better on the court. And then other than that, you could give T-Mac the slight advantage height wingspan wise, but I think it's so close and T -Mac, or Terry Dishinger also does have a really good player model in game. So that's the way that I look at it. It is from an animation standpoint. So if you just look at this screen right here, yes, T-Mac does look to be better. But in my opinion, I think Terry's got the slightly better jump shot and does have a way better size up because other than that, they are the exact same card. The only difference, in my opinion, is the jump shot and the size up because if you look at everything else it is damn near the exact same terry does have a little bit better tendencies t mac might have a tad bit better badges or a tad bit better stats but all around i think terry dishinger is the best shooting guard in the game but let me know in the comment section down below do you guys think it's t mac do you guys think it's terry i know most people will probably stick with t mac and that's fair to say i'm not saying t mac's a bad card he's so so elite and these are two of the best cards maybe even the two best cards in my team right now so don't think i'm trying to say t mac's a bad card or terry dishinger is a lot better they're so so close i mean it's hard to say it is really hard to say but in my opinion i do think terry dishinger is the best shooting guard and let me know what you guys think about my top 10 as well and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace